Before we start doing anything exciting this video, and we are doing exciting things, just a reminder, course sale is going on right now. And uh, if you are interested in learning how to plan your own epic adventure and getting the course on sale, check it out in the card above and in the description below. Oh, a sale. Yes. Oh, a sale. So we are in so we... Grand Haven today. Yeah. We uh, picked a really good day to do this for you guys in that it is the Grand Haven Art Festival as well. And the brewery we're going to for our meetup is right next to the art festival. So that's gonna mean we're gonna have a really great video. It also means it was really hard to find parking. <laughs> yeah, we drove around for about 10 minutes, but we finally found a spot and we're good to go. I'm sorry to anyone who's coming to the meetup because I did not know that. Hopefully you found parking. <laughs> we did, so hopefully you did too. up in Glen Arbor, Michigan. We just enjoyed Alaska so much. So anybody going to Alaska, we were on the... We yeah. don't know what Cherry Republic is. No, she was saying a little bit about it. Life, Liberty, Beaches, and Pie sounds good, though. <laughs> What's fun about going there? Oh, Steve. <laughs> Those look awesome. <laughs> oh, and Cherry Salsa. That'll get eaten. High heat. Yeah. So we have to put between here and Traverse City so that we could do Sleeping Bear Dunes. Fabulous meetup, really cool place. Uh, Grand, Grand Armory Brewing, I think. There's a coffee shop, a barbecue place, and a brewery all in like one spot and you order at separate places. Very cool. And then we got to meet with Mary and Rich who were a hoot and so much fun <laughs> and really just made the meetup great. We got to hear about Alaska and just share all sorts of different things. As always, meetups are so much fun. If you want to meet up with us coming up here soon, check out the events page on our website. But look what's right outside. We have stuff. That's where we're headed. We have stuff. Museum. I might get this. So I have the best husband because <laughs> I found these earrings I really liked and I kept going yes. back and looking and at them. And you were them. like, no, no, maybe not. No, I'll think about They're it. They're feathers. And if you guys know me, I wear my feather gold necklace all the time. And they were $20, which is not that expensive. And so he told me he wasn't driving me home unless I bought them. So I bought them. Oh. So. And now they're going in my ears. I love the symbolism of feathers because it's about flight and freedom and going with the flow and Ooh, symbolism. It, that's why I love feathers so much. They fit perfectly with streaming, which is what we do. Perfect. Hello. Thanks, handsome. Oh, you're welcome. Looking nice. <laughs> What do you expect? And we may have to get some fudge too. We'll hold us over to the next I'm weak. I'm weak. I get earrings, so you get ice cream and fudge. Boom. And now we're at the waterfront. This is actually the channel. And Lake Michigan, I believe, is that way. But this is boardwalk that goes all the way from the state park down that way and clear up through this area and further into town. It's pretty cool. I think this is where the fireworks are for the 4th of July, too. Fireworks? We might be back here. Yeah, this is a super nice area. This, this town definitely has a resort feel, especially in the summer. Reminds you a little bit of Coeur d'Alene, right? It reminds me of Coeur d'Alene, yes. Which, you, as you guys know, is one of our favorite summer destinations. Definitely.
Man, it is summer in Grand Haven. Boat after boat after boat after boat. All the people just sitting, having picnics, watching all the boaters. We are going to go. We're doing something special. We're yeah. doing something very special. It has something to do with me and sometimes Courtney, sometimes, depending. It's more for me. And it's walking distance from the campground. So we need to make sure we bring the key card for the truck. Oh yes, we need to do that. We'll be right back, puppies. In case you're wondering, you probably guessed. It's ice cream. Norm's ice cream, supposed to be one of the best in the area, and it's literally right around the corner from the campground. So, what are you gonna, what, what are you gonna do? You can't just not go. We wouldn't be doing our duty as YouTubers and exploring. If we didn't go. Of course not. All right, we are right outside the campground, and as you can see down there, I hope. There's a bunch of people milling around. That's actually Norm's ice cream. And there's a cafe right here too, which has been busy every morning. So that's Yes, really this amazing. guy, yeah. that guy's busy every day. Looks like we weren't the only ones with this idea. Hey look, Courtney, it's the American dream, the white picket fence. Mm -hmm. And the two and a half kids. I don't know how many kids live in there. We dodged a bullet, it's cash only. We were scrounging around. Might have enough. Kids, birthday cake? Cookies and cream as well as, what was it? Brownie. Brownie batter. Dairy free birthday cake. Dairy free birth, see that's a little fluffier so you can tell it's not as dense, but it's, but it's very so tasty. Good, and I've never, it's almost very always tasty. sorbet for me, but this is amazing. And this is a kid size. And meanwhile, Steve got a small, let me turn you around. Two scoops, brownie batter, batter, and cookies and cream, which is my jam, I always do that. And note, well, I guess this is more of a pro tip. Like I said, cash only. We happen to have almost exact change and not a penny more. We could do a kids and a small, that's so it. So it happened to work out. We know better for next time we go over there because they have so many amazing flavors. I have a feeling we'll go back one more time before we leave. Yeah, ca this is tricky. Yeah, cash only. I haven't even tried it yet. Amazing. Mm. I think we need to move to Grand Haven. <laughs> Norms is in a few other cities in Michigan too, so this is good stuff. I moved to where there's good ice cream. <laughs> At least in the summertime. Oh, I'm dripping now too. Okay, we're gonna put the camera down and we're gonna finish our ice cream. Who said you could have that? She just came over to start licking the side of the cup and then slowly her tongue migrated towards the inside of the cup. Really? Now she's gonna act all good for the camera. I didn't, I didn't do anything. I see how it is. <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, we love Grand Haven. For the ice cream, for the weather we've had, for the scenery, a little bit of everything. Yeah. It feels like summer. That's right. It most definitely does. We're going to Grand Rapids tomorrow. Not exactly sure what we're gonna do yet. What else is new? Not with the Airstream. We're just taking a drive. Right. Just a day trip. We're going to meet somebody for at a brewery um, that tomorrow night, so we might do some stuff while we're in town beforehand. So we're gonna figure that out. We'll take you along. I guess that's it. We're gonna keep this as a nice short video. In fact, that's what you guys tell us like we we like your videos because they're they're not 20 they're they're short they're easy to watch in the sitting so i'm just gonna go with it and say that this is i don't know there's nothing else going on anyway so we're, we're gonna cut the video here see you tomorrow or the next day or something i don't know it's it's so hodgepodge it it's so hodgepodge we'll see you soon now patty patty's like is there more melted ice cream i like it
It's delicious. Is this what you want? Yeah, the melted ice cream? Yeah, you want the melted ice cream?